This time lapse is of a mountain wave cloud that sprawled out over the entire front range Wednesday. In a way, it tells the whole weather story for the day. It's a massive standing lenticular cloud, so it stayed in place for several hours and blocked out a lot of the direct sunlight, especially in the morning hours. But most spots were still able to quickly warm into the 60s before noon. That is because of the way the air was moving and sinking, which coincidentally also caused the mountain wave cloud. Look at this cross section of the front range. The air from the west hits the mountains, causing a ripple in the wind. Then it sinks down the east side of the mountains. The drop in elevation raises the air pressure, which raises the temperature by about five and a half degrees every 1,000 feet. By the time that air reaches us on the ground, it's warmer than the air at the surface. That's how it warms so much Wednesday morning before the sun came out and got us into the 70s. And as that air in the wave rises again, it cools and condensation occurs in the crest of the wave. That is how we get the standing mountain wave cloud, which lasted well into the afternoon hours on Wednesday. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.